What's up everyone, welcome back. Another week's video, a very exciting one. This one comes to us uh, via the comments section because I'm in there, I'm hanging out and someone's like, hey, can you do a video on getting out of holes? And I was like, yeah, I, I got some, some things to talk about on that topic. Um, before we get started, the kind of the, the base level for this video today is knowing what a hole or in England you say a stopper, uh, what that is and what it feels like to be in one. Uh, and if you're uncertain about that, then this video is not for you. So this is just, that's kind of the base level that we're looking at for today. Um, so we've all been there, you're cruising along, maybe it comes at you out of nowhere, maybe you saw it coming and you couldn't avoid it. Uh, maybe you just didn't do enough to get over or around or through it, but you find yourself surfing in a hole, which might look like this or it might look something a bit more like this and you might end up saying something afterwards like You know I normally ported this one I thought today's the day I got it Or you, you, it might end more like this And however, <laughs> however it ended out for you, you likely have already experienced some, some level of this uh, being in a hole thing And so what I want to talk about is how we get out of it uh, and also recognize that this is one of the areas or one of the times when we're kayaking when it's most likely you're gonna get injured, right? So we're obviously looking to avoid injury and I wanna just give you a few uh, hints and tips on safe ways to get out of a hole and kind of keep yourself injury free. I will say before we start that I'm just gonna kind of talk about uh, one variation on a theme to get out of a hole here. There are definitely other ways to achieve the same goal and I imagine there'll be follow-up videos that I'll be able to make um, maybe later this year or next year uh, with other solutions. Um, but I'm going to talk you through the one which I like the most and the, the, the methodology that I use the most to get yourself out of a hole. So first things first is think about our safety and most importantly our shoulder safety. Uh, assuming that the hole we're in is deep enough so we don't hit our head, that's obviously going to be like your, your number one thing. Um, but assuming it's deep enough so that you're not going to hit your head, uh, the next thing we need to think about is our shoulder safety. And it can be very easy to uh, kind of lock, get yourself in this position where your hands are way overhead here with like both elbows above your head and then you get kind of pressure on one of those blades and that can cause uh, like kind of hyper, hyper extension injury in your shoulder joint there and eventually lead to dislocation which is, uh, happens to a lot of people, happens to a lot of kayakers so we don't want that to happen to us and so a good kind of way to think about all of the things I'm saying here is that I never want to let both of my elbows get above my head. Generally speaking one elbow above your head with the other elbow tucked in nice and tight not too big of a deal all right the other one not too big of a deal but we never want to let both get above our head because it's just going to put too much pressure on our shoulder joints. Okay, so that's kind of the important safety stuff out of the way. Um, obviously there's other factors like other people around us on the river, where we are, uh, and if you are gonna try and practice something we're talking about today, make sure you select a spot which is a good spot to practice this in. Uh, ideally it's deep so that you won't hit your head or your face or your paddle or anything like that. Um, and ideally it's in a position where somebody can help you if you um, do kind of get into trouble. The nice thing about this methodology is that we can it's quite scalable so you can do it in a very small hole um, that you would easily be able to get out of and then work up and work up and work up. So with that in mind let me give you a very basic run through of what we are trying to achieve. So you are stuck in a hole, maybe you got in there on purpose, maybe you got in there by accident. Either way the first thing you need to do is establish a controlled surf and what that's going to look like is you're going to be upside down with one elbow down, one elbow up, or maybe even with both elbows down, you'll be able to feel the, the water around your paddle blades and you're gonna use that to rewrite yourself and get into a stable position. If you can keep your body in a more central or neutral position, or even slightly uh, crunched over forwards, hinging from those hips, not like just dropping down, like dropping your chest down to your spray deck, but hinging forwards from your hips, that's actually going to allow your boat to stay a little bit more leveled and that's going to help you get into a easier surf position or like a, a more stable surf position I guess is better to say. If you're leaning really far back it's going to unweight your bow and really overweight your stern which is going to have you kind of like 
tumbling and tossing like this and make it difficult for you to first establish a surf, which is step one. So step one, you establish a surf. The next thing you need to do is look around and figure out where the exit point, where the weakest point of this hole is. And if you've scouted this rapid beforehand, you're gonna probably already know which way you're going to. But if you haven't scouted, what you're looking for is the downstream end of the hole. So assuming it's straight on like this, it's likely that one end will be more downstream of the other. What that means is water's gonna be pushing towards the downstream end, so we're gonna be trying to ride that angle of water out, all right? If the hole is like pretty much straight on, then you just need to be working towards an edge because at the edges or at the downstream end, we're looking to try and get our boat into that current of water that's pushing downstream and away from where we are stuck, right? So the goal is get it, establish a surf, figure out which direction we're going into, and then the last thing is be trying to move towards that direction. Uh, and the way we're gonna move towards that direction is actually a pretty simple technique um, but it's very effective. From our sitting forward position, we're just gonna dig ourselves out, or I describe it as dig yourself out. Um, and all that means is an upright paddle right here in front of you, doing these short forward strokes, engaging as much core as you can whilst keeping a balance, and pulling yourself to the exit of the hole. Some things to think about with that digging procedure, right? We're looking for a fairly upright paddle with my hands somewhat in front of me so that I can uh, recruit as many core muscles as I can in the process. I never want to let my top hand get kind of um, over, over the top, over top of my head or behind my head. This is really unsafe. It puts a lot of pressure on your shoulder joint here. You want to keep your movements fairly small and kind of in front of your face here. Sometimes it can be possible that you can just do one big pulling dig stroke um, or even just reach that paddle into some outflowing water if you're on the very edge of, a, of a, a hole. But it's not always possible that you can achieve that and sometimes you're gonna need multiple of these short strokes to keep your boat moving in the direction to get yourself out of where you're going. Regardless of if you think you only need one or you only need two, you're gonna need to keep those digging strokes going, keep power and pressure on that blade until you are all the way out of that hole. And this is really important that you just keep digging and keep yourself in that forward position and don't give up um, when you're like, you know, after those first few strokes haven't worked out. And it's really, and in your head, your lizard brain is gonna be telling you to just get out of there. Uh, but normally your situation doesn't improve uh, once you get out of your boat. So really you, you kind of want to let your, your more conscious, like the smart part of your brain say, hey, like we're actually better off if we work our way out of this instead of just trying to swim out because swim out is going to make uh, a whole other list of problems that we maybe are not currently cognizant of. So that's something to keep in mind. Uh, don't give up and just keep moving towards that exit point. Um, it may happen that you are getting pushed back into the middle and if that's the case you're going to be looking for another current of water that's going out and it may also be possible to turn turn and burn in a different direction maybe you've been digging the wrong way which can happen. So that's kind of the the outlying principles that I use to get myself out of a hole. So in summary um, get yourself into a controlled surf, ideally in an upright or like slightly forward position. Look for your exit and then start digging your way out of there. Um, keep your elbows tucked in, nice and low down. You don't want to let both elbows get above your head. Ideally, um, keep both elbows nice and low and tucked down here and hands close to your shoulders as much as you can. You are going to have to let them creep away from your shoulders a little bit to dig your way out of wherever you're going to. But um, just about finding balance, right? And not letting yourself get in that exposed position where you're gonna put a lot of stress on the joint because that's gonna lead to a number of other problems. Okay, hopefully this video has been useful. Like I said, it's not the only way to get yourself out of a hole, um, but it's my, my preferred way to get out of it. Um, I will try and make uh, some other videos on other methods of getting out of a hole, but this is, this is like my version one, I guess. Uh, if it's been useful, let me go. If it has not been useful or you think I missed something, let me know just down here in the comments. And I will see you next week. Peace.